Yes, you can get a BMW as your first car, and this is a great option. The E36 BMW makes great platform for drifting, and this four-cylinder version handles extremely well. So if you really want to learn how to fully experience how a car should handle, this might just be what you want. Thank you to Ktruck35 for recommending this absolute gem. The Mazda 3 is like a more sophisticated Honda Civic. If you don't really like the Civic, then this might be your next best thing. It handles well, it looks cool, and it's got a pretty big aftermarket, which makes it perfect for autocross. The Suzuki Swift Sport might just be my pick for this video. I think it's a really great package, it's front wheel drive, handles well and looks cool. In fact, I actually got a pretty good quote on one of these and I'm definitely considering getting it for my actual first car. This is a really cool car, 134 horsepower, makes it an ideal competitor against the Fiat 500 Abarth and Renault Sport Twingo. subject for the Renault Sport Twingo, this is its top, drop top cousin, the Renault Wind. Okay, stop laughing at the back, it's not a funny name. It is. Anyway, this little, little car looks a little funny, but it's a pretty good car if you can't really get insurance on a Civic Del Sol. It's got 133 horsepower, it's in Group 18, and since it's quite unusual, you probably won't be expecting any high quotes for, for this. In fact, look at how the roof opens. The Toyota RAV4 is a much more long-lived version of those Suzuki's. If you don't really like those Suzuki's, then maybe this might be the next best thing. Insurance Group 19, so it's a bit more expensive to insure, but that being said, it is extremely cheap and it's a pretty cool retro Toyota which will just last forever and will be cheap to maintain. Okay, maybe you're looking for something a bit more retro, then this might just be what you want. A Mark II Volkswagen Trocco, just forget about getting Mark I. So this car is an extremely great investment. Classic Volkswagens always are in great condition. This could eventually fetch five figures, but at the moment it lies significantly lower than the five grand mark, which will make it a perfect option for those of you considering a bit more of an adventurous choice for your first car. Thank you to Clap on Nova for recommending this little guy. The Fiat Panda 100 horsepower is built for British backroads. The Fiat Panda is extremely popular, and yet this is the only sporty version that has ever been put into production. And it's a bit of a belter. Polo looks a bit like an MPC car, not much going on, but what about this? The Seat Ibiza Cupra is a rebodied Polo with a bit of extra Latin flair and a bit more spicy performance under the bonnet. 
which will get Sixy in less than 10 seconds, making it great fun for your daily commute. And just look at it, absolutely gorgeous. I really like this car and I think it's a really great alternative to the Polo. Right, now this was in my first classics video and I'm just going to say it again. You can guess a Porsche is your first car. 924 comes with a Volkswagen engine, rear wheel drive and a Porsche badge. Now that will get the Polo guys really jealous. Rounding this video off, we find ourselves at the Hyundai Veloster. It is a successor to the Hyundai Coupe, and I think it's a really great option if you must stand out.